Well, uh, welcome back to my channel. Thought I'd uh, show you guys how I do a, a valve job with non-adjustable valve lifters. This is a B engine I'm working on. <clears throat> and so I use the original lifters and cam back and put new stainless steel valves. And this is a quick way, they call it a micro spacer. And this is how, how you um, determine the length of the valves. It, it gets you in the ballpark. I don't, I don't trust it 100%, you know, for down to the last thousands, but it, it really gets me close. So I'm gonna show you guys how this thing works. Let me get my camera set up here. I've already <clears throat> turned my cam. I got it, the lifter sitting on the heel. This is the, the mandrel that you put in to measure the, to measure the length of the valve is going to be. So we're going to put it in where the valve, this is the one we're working on. My lifter was stuck up where I put them in. So what we do, it's, this right here is adjustable. So we set that on the seat. This is sitting on the lifter. We lock it down. Okay, that tells us exactly how, how far the length from the seat to the stem. So now we're gonna go over here to our jig. We put this in here. And I, I hope you can see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna z zero the gauge, okay? Right there's the length without the lash. So we take this out. This is, this is, this is number two. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm I got them all number. I've, uh, that's not what you call lap pin. It's just, it's just grease so I can tell where it's seating at when I cut the three angle valve job. So now we'll put the valve in it. So it is, uh, it's 30 thousandths too long sitting with no lash. So actually it's gonna be, I'm putting the lash at a 15 thousandths or not 15, but 12 on the, on the intake. This is intake, exhaust was 15. So uh, we're gonna have to grind off about 23, about 40, 43, 42, 43 thousandths. So now what I do, I come over to my valve grind machine. Get this up here where you can see it. Well, I'll show you like this to start with. My valve grinder has got, got a dial on it right here. And this is where I'm gonna be, this is tells me how many thousands I cut off, grind off of it. It moves the, it moves the valve into the wheel. And I've already uh, set, dressed the wheel and all. So uh, we'll get set back up here and we'll, we'll start cutting. Sorry for the camera work, not not much. I've lost my tripod, my good one. So uh, we'll try this one. So I'm gonna put the put the valve in here. I'm gonna back this off a little bit. I'm gonna set my zero. Got coolant coming on my 
So we're just grinding the end of the valve off, shortening it up. Okay, now we're gonna go back. I'm probably within my lash now. So we're gonna go back over here. Get back down here to where you see. You see this zero is right here. So we, according to my gauge now, we've got almost four thousandths lash. And so I need to be at uh, 12. So uh, I need about the uh, seven more thousandths or eight really. But just to be sure, I'm going to put it down in the, in the valve chamber here. I'm going to take the feeler gauge. And I'm going to get a, about a five thousandths. find it here okay right here's a five thousandths we're gonna slip it under it and see you see it's still still tight so I've got I got to grind some more off to get it but uh, I hope you get the idea of, of uh, how this how this uh, gauge works it's a pretty good uh, we're getting a little old deal if you're especially if you're grinding the lifters or the valves to get the valve lash. So hope you fellas enjoyed this.